Hello and welcome to Firewalls.com's next WatchGuard video on how to attach a Firebox to the WatchGuard cloud. Uh, in this video, we're going to demonstrate how to do that on our WatchGuard account online. Um, and then that will allow us to generate reports and dashboards off our Firebox that we can review uh, anywhere. So the first thing is we want to ensure that our uh, Firebox product license includes WatchGuard Cloud. Um, and before you can enable WatchGuard Cloud on the Firebox, you must first add the Firebox to your WatchGuard Cloud account. Um, this, is, this was done in the first video we showed on how to register your WatchGuard product. Um, so once that Firebox is added to your account, then you can proceed. Um, so the first thing we're going to do after ensuring those is to log into our account. So we'll do that now. We'll log into our WatchGuard account. So once you log in, you'll arrive here uh, on the WatchGuard portal support center. So we'll go to um, my WatchGuard and then WatchGuard Cloud. All right, once we're logged in, uh, we'll want to uh, manage or configure uh, and then devices. Mine's gonna look a little bit different as a partner account. Mine will show configure. Um, uh, standard account, you'll see manage. So configure or manage, and then you'll go to devices here. All right, and then the next thing is going to be adding a device. All right, next we're gonna select our device here. You wanna confirm the serial number matches with the unit you're adding the WatchGuard Cloud and add device. All right, and we're gonna follow our, our uh, other videos and we're gonna go with local management on the device. Uh, we're not going to choose cloud management because that will essentially wipe our configuration because we don't have a cloud configuration set up. And by switching a box over to cloud management kind of overwrites what you've done locally with the cloud config. Um, so like I said, we're going to stick with our current use case of doing local management. Uh, but I do like to point out that you can add a Firebox to WatchGuard Cloud like we're doing now without losing the local management, which is great because this allows you to get those dashboards with live status, uh, excuse me, live status, log messages, you see all that here. It gives you all the, it gives you the reporting and dashboard tools from your, for your Firebox. Um, it's really useful, especially for uh, viewing historical logs and things like that. So we're heading next. And we're gonna just enable it on the device. We're not gonna use the rapid deploy. We're not going over that in our in this video series. And next. Now it says the last thing is to connect it to watch our car to watch our cloud. We must enable that on our device. So we'll stop here and we'll log into the device. All right, I'm logging in here over port 8080. And this is our default that we set up earlier in the video series. Um, getting the certificate warning, it's a local private um, security certificate. We know about it so we can proceed. Okay, and we'll go ahead and log in here. Okay, now next step is to go to system and watch our cloud. We'll go ahead and enable this. It says pending registration. And there it goes, just switched over to the registered. You could stay on that screen like I did to watch that status update or you can you know, monitor it from the front panel. This is also this is also where you verify um, if your Firebox is connected. 
So there we are, watch our cloud. We are not using it for management, but we are using it for visibility. So now we'll be able to see stats and, and things in our cloud. So we'll hit done here. And now you can see our Firebox is online and logging. So now we'll get these dashboard views. Just like that. Okay, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, I get back to you on that. Um, other, other than that, it's pretty simple. Um, if you have a particular firebox like the T10, T30, T50, T70, and a few M models, um, you may be required, or if you're using uh, a fire cluster, uh, the steps will be a little bit different. When you add the device for WatchGuard Cloud, when you get those steps, you'll be asked to copy a verification key, and you have to go in here, where we were earlier, System WatchGuard Cloud, and you have to paste that key here. Um, I did not have to do that, as the T45 has a TPM chip, um, which is a hardware chip, um, for security, it's, it was done automatically. For the other devices, you will have to put in the verification key and paste it here. Or like I said, if you're using a fire cluster, you also have to put the verification code here. All right, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. So that's it for this video. Make sure you leave us more comments and questions. Also make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out firewalls.com.